101. Stardom 101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast here back on iHeartRadio. Thank you guys once again for tuning in to us weekly. You know what we do. We feature the talented, the dope, the up-and-coming talent on the rise to stardom. And today I stopped in South Carolina. I got my girl Jay Chanel in the house. Jay, what's going on with you? Hi. How are y'all today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. That's what's (laughs) up. (laughs) So first of all, Jay, a lot of people want to know, how did you get into the music industry? Everybody's story is different. Can you give us like a little background story of like um, what made you uh, drive and driven to the music industry and want to pursue it professionally? Yeah. So um, I've always written poetry, Um, always kind of like wrote stories as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I recently, like when I wrote songs, it wasn't ever to kind of like put it out. It was just kind of when I heard it be, I was like, okay, I feel like I can, you know, write poetry to it because that's what basic, you know, that's what music really is. Mm -hmm. um just poetry just rearrange etc um I think what really got me you know putting out my music would probably be um my dad passing away um Mm -hmm. he always was like Tilda you should do something with it you know um you have a great voice this that and I just never really believed in myself Mm -hmm. to do that much and it's very vulnerable you know Mm -hmm. especially when you write about that you feel you feel or could possibly feel etc not really just like the basic Mm-hmm. kind of because i'm happy you know what i mean yeah of course. um so, right so um that's kind of what kind of pushed me to kind of just step on my comfort zone and just you know things that i write about i always want you know would like people to kind of you know if anyone could uh, you know benefit from it or help you know because mm-hmm. um, i think that's what music's really about mm-hmm. is um you know just to kind of help other people to kind of say things that maybe they don't have the words to say except I know, I know that's what i listen to music for nice nice yeah it is actually it's therapeutic you know especially when it's the right song uh it's healing to some you know a lot of memories we go through in life a lot of trials and tribulations some is triggering some is releasing so music is definitely definitely powerful and you can see as of right now it's running the world <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah. In terms of your style, Jade, it's like it's like you like indie soul. Like, what's what's your style? What's your vibe? Like, if somebody's popping in your music for the first time, what are they gonna get? Yeah. So, if I would be classified as anything, I definitely would say you know that indie, that soul. Mm -hmm. Um, I have different genres that I do kind of like to dabble in. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really like the thought of you know being contained in the box or like oh, this artist only does this music. Um, <laughs> I have some r and B. I have some rock. Um, wow. Um, the single that I just put out now is more of an indie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And speaking yeah, of that single, kinda... that single, are you, are you talking about On on My Level or are you talking about a different single? Yeah, On My Level. That's my nice. recent drop. Nice, nice. And I think that's out on all platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Apple, all that good stuff. Yes, sir. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, on my level, can you kind of describe what that kind of song is about so we can kind of get an understanding of it? And uh, once again, of course, it'll go behind you and stream it. But on my level, can you tell us like what, 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 what went into the process of making that song? Yeah, so, so on my level is, so like the beat itself, mm-hmm. I would say, like imagine just kind of like driving you know I kind of imagine either like a sunset or you know kind of at nighttime your headlights you know um the windows down Mm -hmm. you know just the breeze etc like that's the kind of vibe the beat gives you um my lyrics is pretty much just about um just if you know someone let's see trying to wrote this correctly uh like (laughs) (laughs) Because, like I said, I kind of write like a Taylor Swift kind of person. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, I would say it's just just basically about asking someone a question mm-hmm. where, you know, you either found out something or just something, 
wasn't the way they told you it was, if I that see. makes sense. You know, that what I mean? kind of being right, thrown into reality mm-hmm. rather than mm-hmm. that delusion that you had, you know, made previously kind of thing. That's what's up. Okay. Now, is that single a part of uh, uh, a project, an EP, an album, or is it simply a standalone single and you're just pushing that by itself? Yeah, that's simply just a single. Um, mm-hmm. I don't have any albums. Um, I've thought about it. Um, and I do have, you know, obviously some songs in a vault where maybe I can kind of put them all, you know, in one setting. Mm-hmm. But I think right now I'm just kind of, you know, as I'm going through my day-to-day life, mm-hmm. whatever, you know, I listen to beats on a regular occasion. So, like, if I'm feeling something, if I'm feeling down or... You know, anything that kind of, I don't know, lyrics that just kind of like pop in my head, I'll like write a song about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'll release that just to kind of show people that, you know, um, you you won't just hear one type of genre. You know I what see. I mean? I see. And I know for some people that throws them off. Mm-hmm. And some people, you know, they like that because, uh, you know, I know some people that have a diverse, um, you know, variety of music that they do listen to. And I know people that really just stick to one kind of genre. You I know? see. Mm, I see. And so that creative, creative uh, aspect and that creative realm, it's like more free flowing. You know, you're more present to who you are, where you at uh, from day to day as an art, a true artist. A lot of artists don't do that. Like you say, all they do is put out one sound. <laughs> and it gets kind of stale and generic right. that way. You know what I'm right. saying? It gets, it gets, and that's what kind of was one of the problems I see in the industry right now. Everybody sound the same. You know, it's just like, oh my God, I heard right. this before. <laughs> So right, and talking about the same stuff. Yes, yes. Right. I think music right, is to definitely be therapeutic. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Do you plan on doing more um, like uh, acting into the uh, film industry? Uh, I know you had that on your bio. Do you do uh, like short films, anything like that, getting on a big big screen? You plan on doing any of that in the near future? Uh, yeah, I just mm-hmm. finished um, a play okay. that I had. Um yeah, it was that was actually my first ever play. And when I went up to kind of like audition, mm-hmm. I, you know, I basically thought I was like, listen, I have no experience with this, but I've always, you know, I've watched Disney, et cetera. And like, <laughs> of the things we would, you know, reenact certain things and yeah. stuff. So I was just yeah. like, I have that, but that's all I really got. Um, sometimes I'm like, hey, do you want to go over scripts that's on Google? And some friends would be like, yeah. Some friends would be like, no, you're weird. And I'm like, okay, I get it. <laughs> um, but so I thought I was like, I don't even care if I'm the water girl. You know what I mean? I just kind of mm-hmm. want to get my foot in the door, kind of get a feel of of everything. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I mm-hmm. ended up getting the lead role, one of the leads. Wow. That I was wow. So, um, yeah, it was a great experience. I loved my cast, um, uh-huh. which, you know, I'm grateful for because I know I won't always experience that. Correct. But Correct. Um, it was it was very cool. You know, the props and just you kind of like taking yourself out your body which is mm. really cool you know because I feel like as an artist you always kind of want to show people who you really are you know you're authentic mm-hmm. where acting is like you get to be that different person you get to read that script and be like okay so I wonder how this person would say <laughs> this or how this person feels about this not me yeah. but this person who I'm trying to be you yeah know? So that, <laughs> that was a cool experience that's cool and that fit in that theater uh, that that performance it was that out now or is that that circulating can we go watch it somewhere or is that was like a, a like a, what's the process of that is that is something that we can tune into yeah um i know it was on the news okay. um, i know we were live there so i'm not sure but i know for a fact i got a youtube link nice. um recently okay um that some people had posted and it was pretty you know pretty good angle um mm-hmm. it was the i think the light yeah, I I don't know what the terms to be completely honest. Like a live <laughs> yeah, person, yeah, like yeah. you know the camera set up, so um, nice. We was able to see the whole um the whole play that way. Nice, nice. Any um it's upcoming really cool. events or any upcoming shows, events? Probably not the end of this year, but or next year in your radar. Anything uh, on the big stage? Uh, do you do a lot of performances? Take part in those? Yeah, yeah. So um, my next um concert performance would be january 1st oh wow um yeah so it's pretty it's, pretty, it's coming up it's yeah coming it's coming up, up real um, soon <laughs> yeah so we just kind of um 
So we might go, we just kind of try to plug ourselves in wherever we kind of see, you know, even if it's like a small venue, mm-hmm. even if there's no one there at all, you know, just a few people, you mm-hmm. know, because it could reach them too. And you never know who this person knows. Mm-hmm. And you never know, you know, you know, just kind of that thing. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not really about being an A, B, C list, you know, celebrity or anything like that. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I just think I have, you know, valuable things to kind of say. And, okay. Um, appreciated when it is listened you know what i mean nice. um, so that's kind of where i feel about, about that kind of thing I, obviously wherever life takes whatever god blesses me with but um yeah. you know it's more so just to kind of one ther- therapy for me yeah and two, just to kind of you know yeah be there for other people if if they need it absolutely of. absolutely do you prefer like um the independent route that you're doing right now because you have more you know, creative control, more creative vision, more input, or do you prefer like a major distribution situation where, you know, you have that engine behind you and pushing you, making your star real fast, blah, blah, blah. Or you simply like the process you have now where you get to develop uh, each and every component of your artistry. I definitely like being independent. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know it's, obviously more difficult to kind of get your music out there Mm -hmm. um because a lot of the music industry is who you you know who you know kind of thing Mm -hmm. um but i think that because i don't necessarily fit in a box it Mm -hmm. wouldn't really you know work very well because i know a lot of people say want you to have that one sound you know what i mean just like um like if you promote certain things on your socials and stuff, you know, some people would want to see it and some people don't. Mm-hmm. Where if you that, you know, one content on it, you you get more revenue on that one content. Mm-hmm. Where me, I'm just kind of all over the place kind of thing. So, <laughs> um, so I, you know, I, I, I just enjoy kind of making music in general cases, you know. Nice. Um, I don't ever want to be pushed into a box or you have to look this way or you have to, Wear your hair always this way, like yeah. I see you saying. I'm just me. That's it. <laughs> that's what's yeah, up. That's, that's what's it. Up. Do you plan on? Uh, or would you, if you had opportunity to like feature, do a feature, big feature, uh, with anybody? Who would Jay select, like to, to do a collab with? I'm just curious with your style and how diverse you are. Is there any other artists that you kind of admire what they do, um, or you take bits and pieces and nuggets from them uh, that you potentially would like to collab with? You see yourself in in, in that lane. Yeah, so I get okay. So I have a few, and obviously they're like different genres. Sure, you know, okay. Because I kind of I switch up on a daily basis. Um, so Lord Huron, love him. Okay, I think that you know our voices would match pretty well together. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously he's more like indie, more of like an indie folk mm-hmm. kind of thing. Okay. Um, a lot of people know him from the night we met where that's a great song but he also has really good songs as well um, mm-hmm. other than that mm-hmm. um I've, jordan sparks i listen I really my vocals up for jordan wow jordan she has been, <laughs> yeah she has been oh my goodness since i was young uh-huh. like since i was young like she's always been someone was like i love every one of your songs Wow. Like every single one of them because you know you have artists where you're like oh i wasn't really feeling this song like that but yeah. i feel like you're the artist with her 100%. She's always been modest, very, very uh-huh. classy. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Uh huh. Um, so I definitely admire Jordan. Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely feel like me and Billy Eilish's voice would go pretty well together. Yo, that was crazy. I, I was thinking about Billy. Wow. I was thinking about Billy Eilish yeah. too. I was like, oh, I, I see it. I see it. That's crazy you say that. Wow. Right? Like, I feel like we would definitely mix a little bit. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. Are you out of here? <laughs> that's fire. I was just thinking, I was like, I got one for you. And you just said it. That's dope. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right, Jay. I'm feeling the vibe. I'm feeling the vibe. I'm tuned in. <laughs> That's what's up. Any last um uh shout outs you want to give to your team, um, or supporters, your fans. I know you got a diverse uh, catalog and a diverse uh, fan base. Uh, or, or your, or, you know, your fam. Anybody personally that you want to shout out and thank them um, for supporting you on this journey, on this ride so far. Yeah. So. I just was basically putting everybody in the group Um, because, you know, a lot of the times, even people that you're close with don't really support you like that until they kind of see you make a big move. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And it's understandable, Mm, you know, mm. but right now I just want to thank everybody that is, 
you know, there and that uplifts me. And um, even if you don't like my music, you mm-hmm. know, um, just people that would even just share it just because, you know, they're like, oh, I like you as a person. You know what right. I mean? Correct. Um, so, yeah, just thank you to that. Um, obviously, shout out to God because that's what made me in. Real um, talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but like, no, that's that's know. good. I never One really take. thought about the shout out part. <laughs> so <laughs> now like, I got to think about this, that. That's it. Um, <laughs> Right, right. G O D is not anyone in particular, just really anyone that's there. Right, right. Every anyone that's generally there, that generally cares, Uh you know, and anyone that it will be, you know, Mm -hmm. if anything really reaches anybody else, you know. Thank you, Mm -hmm. um, for even just taking the time to listen to it. You that's know? what's up. That's what's up. It's music matters. Once again, this dope episode is featuring Jay Chanel. You see what she's doing right now. Make sure y'all go stream on my level out there as as well. Uh, she got a show. Shows coming up. You know, uh, literally working on New Year, which is crazy. A lot of people don't do that, but you working, working, <laughs> which is dope. Uh, <laughs> no up, there you go. As as well as other projects coming up. So make sure y'all tap in, man. Make sure y'all show her some support. She's doing major things. Her style is definitely unique. That's what we need. More originality, more uniqueness. People not afraid to be their authentic self. That's what creates music and make music really work. And all these copycats stop copying. Jada, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Queen, so much. Thank you for this dope conversation and uh, getting on Stardom Platform. We appreciate you. Of course. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to interview with y'all and talk with y'all. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's Star One Magazine, iHeartRadio. We'll be back next week with another episode. Peace. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, get featured in the next issue of Stardom 101 Magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804-550-8647 or visit stardom101mag.net. You're listening to the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast with Christopher Boykin. Be sure to subscribe and download this episode, and continue to listen to Stardom on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.